is just a quick showcase video for a batching system that I developed for unloading arrays that aims to make the different batching between 16 and 64 stackables much simpler. So currently the meta right now is to have an in slice uh, 16 slash 64 stackable filter. So if I were to put one ender pearl in here it will go to SS2, but if I were to change that item to say a terracotta, it won't trigger. So that's the, the general premise. Now that requires a lot of wiring and then different clock cycles to come through. So I thought, okay, what if we do things out of slice? And I'm doing that using this mechanic that I'm gonna show here. So item stacks can stack. <laughs> I know it's a revolutionary concept but they can only stack when they are able to stack uh, only up to their max stack size. So I just threw, threw two stacks of 32 out, they stacked, that's great. But if I were to, say, make one of these stacks over here 31, they will no longer stack. And you can tell that they don't even try and merge because both uh, stacks are still multiple item uh, entities sprite or multiple item sprites now how we can use that is by batching all items from each of individual slices to say 15 for example and trying uh, and attempting to try and merge them with a previous batch now these are a little bit too far apart, but it demonstrates it. So the ender pearls and this and other 16 stackables will not merge. So you still get a proper batch size output. Yet the 64 stackables, if I were to do a similar thing, of course, they will have the ability to merge simply because they can. Beautiful. Now with this timing over here, I'm showcasing three 64 stackables and then one 60, 16 stackable. So the first thing we do is we attempt to, we, we leave it, uh, the items here so they can merge with the uh, next potential um, batch. And then we drop it down after it's been giving it enough time uh, to merge. So I just sent out a batch of 14 that acts as a seeder because I'm also using another mechanic which is stacking um, item entities stack to the bigger item entity. So a 14 will always stack to a, uh, a stack size of 15, for example. So you just saw I got an output of 14 for Ender Pearls, so that's perfect, um, and nothing else. So I'm going to output the last batch, and everything should stack except for the 16 stackable and we should get an output of a, fifth, uh, a size of 15 for Ender Pearls and 44 for all the 64 stackables, which is what we see here. So this overall system works nicely. So it's not, it doesn't batch things quite as high as what you can do with in slice filters. You can batch things up to pretty much 60, but when you analyze how long it takes for item entities to go through modern chest halls, which is only a couple minutes, um, at the end of the day, you only end up with a couple more item entities in, in the hall uh, with uh, a, stat, uh, a size of 44 versus 60, so the simplicity of this could definitely be well worth it. Now, there are some edge cases, because of course, if you were to get, let's just say, you were outputting batches, and say, one of these slices um, started, uh, their, their box started unloading during the middle of a batching cycle, so you got an output of one one cycle, okay, and an output of 15 the other cycle. So they would, they would merge, and this is kind of when you lose the game, because that means, um, that means that one item will skip past the hopper. Now, this can be avoidable simply with um, intelligent uh, box uh, uh, assignment. So 
if you were to only let box uh, boxes assign um, to slices during specific times so that you can't get cases like that, then that would help to alleviate that problem. But there will always be the problem of that of when you run out of items. So say you just output a batch of 15 for Ender Pearls, but then you get a one and then uh, then it's the same situation. You're sad, it stacks to 16. So that situation um, may and truly be well unavoidable, but the thing is, the system will batch the vast majority of 16 stackables to the proper batch size. So using it, if you don't mind having a couple 16 stackables like ender pearls or buckets in your overflow, this could drastically reduce the size um, of the current unloading rays. Glotzes, I know RAFQ and um, and Samus the Sage made one. I think Asana uh, was trying to to make a riff on theirs as well. So it could um, so it could both uh, improve the, the the batching capabilities of of the of the simpler ones and also uh, reduce the size greatly of the uh, of the more complex ones. So, but of course, if you are a perfectionist, then that that extra chance for an ender pearl to go into overflow or ender pearl banner whatever any any more any of the more common 16 stackables um, that might be unacceptable to you, but it could still be useful. So, anyways, uh, I'll just make this video unlisted because uh, this is just to show the concept. Have a good day. Bye-bye.